Leaders of the Catalan Parliament are expected to meet on Monday to discuss formally declaring the independence of the Republic of Catalonia. It follows Madrid's decision to invoke Article 155 of the Constitution, giving it the power to sack Catalonia's regional government. Let's go live now to Barcelona, where we are joined by Sarah Morris. Sarah, good to see you. You're standing outside the Catalan Parliament. What steps are you expecting the Catalan leaders to take next? Well, Kim, today I think is a day where they will be weighing up their options. Now, we understand that behind me in the building here, they're going to have a chit-chat, a bit of a meeting. Uh, the president, Carlos Puigdemont, is going to be meeting with the parliamentary board, and they're going to be deciding whether or not it's worth calling what they call a plenary session of parliament. So that's a session where all the lawmakers, all those MPs, need to turn up to parliament, and there would be a debate. And after that debate, or during that debate, that could be when Carlos Puigdemont, the president, here of Catalan chooses to declare independence. Now, it's not likely to happen today. It may still be a couple of days before this happens. And, of course, it may not happen at all. But it's certainly what is being speculated here in uh, Barcelona today. Got to keep in mind the mood here in Barcelona at the moment and right across Catalonia really is one of quite nervous tension, febrile energy almost, I would say, because no one quite knows what's going to happen next. We don't even think the leaders themselves know exactly what steps they're going to take and when they take those steps no one quite knows the implications of those steps so it could be that there is a, a whole new nation declared by the end of this week but what that actually means in practice well at this stage no one knows and so as you can imagine day-to-day -day life is certainly interesting here and people are pretty nervous what options does the catalan regional government have um, apart from declaring independence i mean what other options does it have and what difference could they make to Madrid? This is a really interesting question. I think one of the problems here, Kim, is because this Article 155 has never, ever been invoked uh, in history here in Spain, no one quite knows how to go about doing things. No one quite knows the legality of every step they take. But some of the options they possibly have, well, they could just go along with Madrid's plan. And we're hearing a little bit more each day from Madrid how they plan to invoke direct rule. There is word today that perhaps they will just put forward one single representative to take over the running of Catalonia. So almost like a new president, although of course this person would not be elected. Now it's very unlikely that the Catalan uh, presidency or the Catalan parliament is going to go along with that plan. We heard from a spokesperson saying they would do everything in their power to protect uh, what Catalan already has in terms of autonomy. So that option is probably off the table. Next option they have is to beat Madrid to it and call their own early election. We're also hearing that option is kind of off the table. Uh, we heard from the same spokesman yesterday saying early elections called by the Catalan parliament look to be not an option. So the third option they have perhaps is non-violent resistance or civil disobedience. So when uh, Madrid tries to take over, the ministers could simply refuse to leave their posts. But probably more potently, the civil servants here, who would really still need to be running Catalonia even if they are following Madrid's rules, well perhaps they could not take direction from Madrid. They wouldn't listen to them, wouldn't do what they're told. Now this is a bit of a tricky one for Catalonia because it means that all those individuals have to take some pretty big personal risks, risk they might be fired, uh, risk that they might end up in jail, all sorts of things along those lines. So we don't know how, how well that would work, but certainly it has worked pretty well for Catalonia so far. This whole independence movement has been quite a grassroots movement. We saw in that referendum when Madrid tried to shut it down, you had individuals doing their best to keep that referendum going, people hiding ballot boxes in their own houses. The big question, I guess, is what the police force here in Catalonia would do. Who would they remain loyal to? So far, it looks like they would remain loyal to Catalonia. But, of course, it's a big risk for them if Madrid does take over to ignore the, the calls of Madrid.